in 1898 Otto Raff published his work on the transformation of D glucose to D arabinose which is called the Raff degradation Raff degradation involves oxidation of the aldose to an aldonic acid using bromine water and then oxidative decarboxylation of the aldonic acid to the next lower aldose using hydrogen peroxide and ferric sulfate so what he has done he took the d ribose and just converting it to the d ribonic acid by treating it with bromine water so this cho group is converted into coh group then he has used that hydrogen peroxide and ferric sulfate fe2so4 whole 3 so he got the structure of d erythrose and don't be confused with the fenton reagent fenton reagent is the hydrogen peroxide and the ferrous sulfate that's not the ferric sulfate okay fenton reagent is the mixture of hydrogen peroxide and ferrous sulfate but in case of rough degradation he has used ferric sulfate So this is the structure of your D glucose then treat with bromine water you will get aldonic acid and then this aldonic acid actually is converted to a calcium salt so you take calcium carbonate you will get this calcium salt then after this just treat it with H2O2 and FeOAC whole thrice or Fe2SO4 whole 3 then you will get arabinose so in case of rough degradation, you can use both this way. The one which rough has used and this one is the modified one. Now see the mechanism of oxidative decarboxylation. At first, this hydrogen peroxide is being cleaved. This bond will cleave as an homolytic cleavage so two hydroxyl group will be prepared and what will happen this O minus will give its okay just let me draw it this O minus will give its electron to this OH radical and this OH will become OH minus so by losing the electron this O minus will be converted into oxygen radical actually here is the oxidation occurring this O minus is becoming the O radical and after that this radical will come here this bond will also be cleaved that means here it will also occur a homolytic cleavage and after that you will get this carbon radical this one carbon radical and this OH group will also be cleaved now now another one OH radical will come here and take up this hydrogen as hydrogen radical so this oxygen will also form a radical now this carbon and oxygen radical will form a bond so this is the actual reaction mechanism now read this use of H2O2 and Fe2SO4 whole 3 is often called Raff Fenton degradation in case of Fenton degradation that was ferrous sulfate but as it is ferric sulfate not the ferrous sulfate this is called Raff Fenton degradation This is the entire family tree of the aldohexose. If you start with any one of these eight pair, this eight, at last you will get the glycerol dehyde. If you just go on doing the rough degradation. If you take any one of aldohexose 
you will get the corresponding allopentose after one rough degradation after another rough degradation you will get the corresponding aldotetrose and then after another rough degradation you will get the aldotriose which is the glyceraldehyde